clingy baby being the MVP of BRB. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. I promise we're not always gonna be vlogging in the bedroom. This is basically where I'm at most of the time now. It is March, I wanna say 18, I could be wrong. Nathan and I, we're at home. Nico just left for his hosting gig. Buti pa siya, may hosting. I'm so proud of him, by the way. I wanted to vlog us at SNR earlier, but to be completely honest, when you've got a baby and you have to do groceries, it's an entire production. I'm probably gonna vlog the next few days. I can't guarantee that the next few hours are gonna be interesting whatsoever. Currently got One Tree Hill. No, I did not name Nathan after Nathan Scott. He is literally watching me speak to the camera. Are you entertained? Are you showing them? your toys everyone wants to see you in the vlogs now buddy boo hi by the way his little outfit the shirt and the red striped dungarees those are some of the pieces that my mom kept that all four of us wore as babies so that outfit right there is basically 40 years old how my mother manages to preserve them she should teach a master class this is one of his favorites the zippy zippy zebra not gonna lie nico and i sing her songs all the time okay baby here 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 there you go oh that's a lot of drool <laughs> you cutie patootie. Actually almost six o'clock, which means my nursery vlog is going up in just a little bit. Since we're on the topic of baby stuff, on Nico's birthday, before we headed to BGC, we passed Ortigas Avenue and there's this Japan surplus warehouse. We decided to pop in and just see what they had. I saw this towards the back in perfect condition. If you're a mom or if you've got friends or siblings who are moms or parents, then you will know. This is a baby Bjorn bouncer. These go for like over $200. Somebody wanted to be part of the vlog. It's so hard to even find it used. Well, at least I couldn't really find any secondhand as well. I think because people, when they're done using it, they either gift it to somebody or when they sell it, it sells right away. I was telling Nico, we have to get this. I've been wanting this since Nathan was a newborn, but they're just too expensive. So he asked the lady how much it was. It took them a while, but she said it was 1,200 pesos. And I was already like, Nico, they don't know what this is. Just get it. And he was all like, I'm going to spring for 1,000. He was able to get it down to 1,000 pesos. I had the mesh cover washed and like cleaned really well. I wiped down the skeleton myself with Clorox wipes and now he loves sitting in it and I can take showers and I don't have to worry that he's like trying to eat something or whatever. This is a better way to actually show you guys the baby Bjorn in action. So it's basically a, a one piece type thing. You can actually buy different covers for it. This one was just the mesh one, which I'm super happy about because it's the most breathable and like light. And with Philippine weather, this is the kind of bouncer cloth you'd want. It is not safe for babies to sleep in though. I will say that. So please, if you are going to get one, do not let your baby sleep in it. It's got these plastic little hook tie things so you don't have to worry about them getting hurt. You let them do their own bouncing. Nico and I do like to bounce him ourselves. Like if we're sitting down or playing with him or whatever. But he does a good job on his own, which is great. This is what it looks like on the side. It's got three settings. The lowest one is what they recommend for newborns. And this will last last you quite a while. Like I get why it's so expensive. If you flip this the other way, it becomes a toddler chair. That's one of our new in bits. And we also received so many amazing, amazing products that I'll show you guys throughout the vlog. Ooh, the sunset's really nice today. I can't really see it so well because our neighbor's tree is blocking, but that's gorgeous. Wow. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse mommy. Eventually. Good morning. Good morning, Baba. Good morning. <laughs> I've definitely looked better, but how cute is this little blue lumpia? <laughs> oh, did I mention it's the following week? Hello. <laughs> it's so flipping cute. Do you want to say hello? It's Monday today, which means it's been a while since I picked up the camera. A lot has happened. I am actually home alone for the next three days. By the time you guys are watching this, Nico will hopefully already be home or on his way home, but he's currently in Palawan. They're doing some business stuff there. Nathan and I are gonna be buddies. Well, we're buddies every day, right? It's just gonna be the two of us for the next three days. Not gonna lie, I'm a little anxious about it because if you guys follow me on Instagram, then you'll know that he is going through what 
I like to believe is his six month sleep regression. I could be wrong, I'm not a pediatrician. He never went through the four month sleep regression and now all of a sudden he wakes up like two to three times in a night which is so unlike him because he used to sleep straight. That's been fun for me. Currently in his room, still can't get over this wallpaper. If you guys haven't seen the nursery transformation, please go watch it. Thank you to Keto and the printery. I can't get over it. I've set him up in the floor bed so that he can hang out while I sort through his laundry. I'm gonna put stuff back into his closet. Toothless wonder. His baptismal gown is here, fun fact. My grandma actually got this for Trina. All of us kids wore it. You play with your zebra. How stinking cute is this knit polo shirt that I got? I know I'm not supposed to be buying a lot of baby clothes, but could not resist. H&M. Somebody apparently wants to be Carrie instead of playing on his own. <laughs> Who is that? Let me take you to Nathan's supply closet. Yeah. I know. Hey, tiger diapers. I used to use Rascal and Friends when he was a newborn, up until he was a size small. And then I saw some Hey Tiger diapers on Lazada, and I saw that it was also by Rascal and Friends, and I decided to buy a pack to see if it worked for him, and it did, and I really liked it, so I started buying. And then they kindly messaged me asking if they could send us some diapers and wet wipes, and he has been a proud Hey Tiger endorser ever since. Hello, Jen. Hello to the Hey Tiger Philippines team. Thank you guys so much. Always, always going to be a fan. If you're looking for a good quality diaper that isn't going to break back, I recommend Hey Tiger. I also recommend the wipes, not because they send it, because they're genuinely, in my opinion, the best wipes out there. Only need like one, maximum two if the poo is really big. I really love them. They don't tear. They're easy to pull out. I like that it has the plastic cover, so it makes it really easy to travel with too. And it hasn't given him any diaper rash. Highly recommend. Don't you like them too? Yeah. We were kindly sent a couple of bits of smart steps. I am not gonna lie. I am a big cycles girly. I have been buying cycles basically since Nathan was still in my belly. It was the brand that just kept coming up and everybody kept talking about how good the cycles brand is. Now, cycles is really lovely, honestly, and I will continue to repurchase it, but it is expensive. So when smart steps reached out to me, I was really intrigued because I did some research and I noticed that they were a lot more affordable. Their baby laundry detergent, which again is their powder detergent, a liquid detergent, which is really great because we use the washing machine. I have a few pieces that we hand wash, but majority of them just go into the washing machine. Baby fabric softener. I haven't really seen a lot of brands that do fabric softener for babies, and I just thought that this was really cool. Definitely gonna give this a try and let you guys know. Their Hero product, which... I mean, I think we can all agree we always, always need is their baby bottle and dishwashing liquid. I've tried several brands. For me, as long as they're all natural, baby safe, I'm not really too picky, but I like that Smart Steps has their own. You are getting heavy, brother. Can I set you down? Wow, I am so pretty in this vlog. The other product, which blew my mind, baby laundry detergent bars. And I can already smell it. It smells so good. It smells really clean. We like to hand wash some of Nathan's clothes, and for that, we use the powder but i feel like this is going to be so much easier and this would be really great to travel with as well just in case he maybe stains or like soils certain clothing i don't have to worry about decanting liquid detergent or putting powder detergent in a container i can just bring a bar which i plan to because we're actually going to be hitting up the beach for holy week i think i'm going to bring one of these bars because they smell great and again they're made with natural ingredients and they're safe for babies that's basically it smart steps also sent me some wipes and like some mosquito repellent patches which again you're always He's gonna need. Thank you, Smart Steps. I'm super appreciative. I love being able to stock my closet. It's 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 a little ridiculous. Not gonna lie to you guys. Nobody judge me. I like to shop during the sale, and certain things are given to me. <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm about to give advice? Welcome to our little breastfeeding nook. This lovely chair was gifted to me by my in-laws. These were their chairs in their home theater, and honestly, they're, they're so comfy. They recline. You can put your feet up. I wanted to show you guys this cute little bear. This was sent to me by Milk Easy, so thank you to Milk Easy. I will link them in the description box. They're a really great website that basically has everything you could possibly need and want for breastfeeding. I use the breastfeeding cover-up a lot, boob marker, and there's just so many great products there, and they kindly sent over this personalized blueberry which I thought was just so flippant.
the bin suite of them. If you're looking for a great gift, this would be a good one. And another great gift. I have yet to hang this. I need to order command strips. Thank you to Hustle and Heart for sending this over. I fell in love. It's made out of glass and they put it in this adorable wooden frame. Baby's birth details, all of his details are here. Born September 28, 2023 at 1.59 p.m. He was only five and a half pounds and 18 inches. I will go into more detail. I'm gonna do a birth video. It was three weeks early. I thought that would be a really nice gift idea. You wanna vlog? You wanna see yourself? Oh, who's that? Who's that? He's trying to crawl. Oh, go baby! We're just gonna hang out here. I'll probably feed him again. This water play mat is one of the best things I've ever purchased on Lazada. I will leave it linked in the description box for you guys as well. I get so many questions about it. It was like a hundred bucks, less than a hundred bucks. Keeps him entertained and when he first was learning how to roll, this was really helpful because there's air here and water here so it just made it really easy for him to like figure out how to balance, right? 24 hours later. I had the busiest but loveliest day. Thank you so much to mom for being the absolute MVP of today. Got up really early. Nathan, mom and I went to his pediatrician. He got a shot. Mom then treated us, I say us, but it was really me, to famous country waffles in White Plains, which I have actually been wanting to try because I've seen it all over TikTok and Instagram. We got the famous chicken and waffles. It was really good. We also got the triple fries. I really want to go back and try like their sweet waffles. That's some point hopefully i'll get to do that she also tried to get us halo halo but the wait was 30 minutes which is ridiculous so we ended up going to this really cool place where she got us some veggies and fruits and then we went to sm nathan can officially start solids and there's certain vegetables and fruits that his pediatrician recommended so i have ordered a bunch of stuff on lazada but mom got really excited that's right baby sorry if you can hear him he's he's refusing to go down for a nap despite not feeling 100 percent after his vaccine that's kind of why i want to do this unboxing before i end the vlog because i really want him to try this I digress. Anyway, we went to SM, got a bunch of stuff over there. I'll show that in the next vlog because I don't know how much longer I have before he has a full blown meltdown. I ordered this on Sunday, I believe, and it arrived. I have been wanting to get this for Nathan for a while. We have the Oribel, which we love, but when we go to the beach or when we go to my in-law's house or to my mom's house, you can't really bring the Oribel with you. I mean, I'm sure you could, but it would be such a hassle. So we always end up just bringing his stroller. I mean, it's easy, but at the same time, it's kind of like it's still bulky. I just really wanted to be able to get him something that he could use to sit around and play in but at the same time we could like bring it with us. I got this on Lazada. It was on sale and I had a couple of vouchers so I bit the bullet and I got the uh, mamas and papas. Yeah, I know I'm bougie. Baby bud. So this is the three stage booster seat for six months up to three years. You can attach it to like a dining chair or any chair and it just helps keep the baby stable and basically the same height as you which I thought was super great. It also encourages him to sit down when he plays, which I mean, right now he can kind of sit on the bed and stuff, but I just figured this would be a lot easier for him as well because it comes with a tray. Oh, it's really cute. So this is the little tray that comes with the booster seat. Looks like the Ori Bell. I got the color, I believe this is called Pebble. I decided to get Pebble because obviously if we do end up having another baby, I don't know if it's gonna be another boy or if it's gonna be a girl. So I just figured gray would be really good. This is what it looks like. Oh, it's actually really lightweight, which is fabulous. It's got all these little straps. So you can strap it to the dining chair and then it's got its own harness, which reminds me of the Ori Bell. And it's super easy to clean too, based off of reviews, everybody loves it. You can detach this. You attach the tray here and this is what sold me as well these feet stabilizer things so you can attach it to make it a little bit higher or you can leave it like this. I feel like Nathan will really enjoy this. I'm gonna clean it up, put the tray and put some toys and see how he likes it. Thank you so so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this random vlog of a few days in my life and I will see you again soon for another video. Bye! Don't let his cries fool you. He actually really likes it. He's just not feeling well. You okay? You okay? Oh, he's really not 100% but this worth the money he absolutely loves it before i turned on the camera he was actually really happy about it good job mamas and papas you're not selling the baby butt love